In today's video, we're going to go exploring colouring pages over on Midjourney. Now, if you already have the Midjourney bot within Discord, then you want to connect to the Midjourney website app. Now, first of all, you want to come to midjourney.com. Now, make sure you're already signed into Discord as well. And then you just go to sign in, sign in with Discord, and then it's going to pull up this. And then you just want to authorize, and now you're connected to the website app. Here's my profile just here. Now, there's a couple of quick things that I'm quickly going to talk about, and that's how to navigate this website. Now, up here on the left-hand side, you have a little arrow, and if you click on there, you get all of these different options. First one is Home. So this is the Home page. This is where all of your designs that you make within Midjourney are going to show up. Then you're going to have the Community Feed, and that's where we're going to be exploring colouring pages, then you have your own personal feed. So if you decide to follow people here on Midjourney, their creations are going to show up in your own personal feed. And we're going to talk about that later on in the video. Then you also have bookmarks. I haven't used this feature, but it's still a great one. Then down here, you have some tools. You have the map, like so. You also have ranking. You have archive as well, where you can see all of your creations at a quick glance. You also have the dictionary. Now, if that loads up, we can see all this as well, and also styles. So if you're not too sure about styles, you can come over to here, take a look, and use these in your prompts. Then further down, we have where you can manage your subscription, the help and fact page, about and careers, then if we scroll down a little bit more, you have the settings, then if you want to log out, you go to the three dots just here and go to sign out. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start exploring. So let's go back up to here. We're going to go to community feed. Now let's just click on that little arrow like this. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This is the community feed. So if you do not have private enabled on your subscription, or if you have a free account with Midjourney, then all of your creations are going to show up just here. Now, me recently, I actually changed to private. So if I just do forward slash and go to info, and then let's just click enter. Let's just give that a quick second. There we go. We can see that right here, visibility mode, I'm on private. So now all of my creations up here and over here are all going to be private. Now all of my previous creations, like all these ones down here, these are all public. So every single thing that I've created here, you can actually find in the community feed. But remember, unless you have private enabled, I believe it's an extra $20 a month, everyone is going to be able to find your creations. And you can find all of those creations through here in the community feed. Now, right up here, we have a search bar. So anything that you want to find, you can just type it in. So for this example, let's go coloring page. Now, if I click enter, it's going to pull up all of the creations with coloring page in the prompts and show you those creations. So now, if we start scrolling through, we're going to see all the prompts that have used color and page. Now, one thing I like to do as well, because a default setting is the upscales. Now, if we go on here and click to all, you're going to see a lot more creations. Now, if we scroll down, we can actually see what other people's color and pages look like. So we have submarine, looks like a firefighter. So that's thick lines, white steampunk soldier. So it's not a firefighter, but now we can keep scrolling and taking a look. And you're going to actually see some really nice creations. Look at this one. So this is a black and white digital coloring page, owl, pure black, pure white, symmetrical, thick lines. Now what you can do as well is click on these three dots and you can go to copy command. Now you can use that prompt in your own creations and play around with it. So you can use it, change keywords, change a few bits of the prompts and see what you can come up with. Now this is perfect if you're trying to practice and get better 
at your creations. But I really like that one right there. So this keyword is just for colouring page. Now if we keep scrolling, we have a lot of mushrooms, some weird cities. So that's a Riga Armageddon colouring page. And that's the only keyword or prompt that they used. We have some really nice cat faces just here as well. And if we keep scrolling, we can see even more. Now remember, the search bar is where you want to type in your keyword. So you can look at colouring page. You could do something like line art. Any type of keyword related to the images that you want to create as well, you can just type that in the search bar. So for this example, we're trying to look at colouring pages to see what there is. But if you was going to do vectors, you could look at that. Wallpapers. You can just type in the keyword, again, which you want to search. Now, if we scroll through here, line art actually hasn't got that many colouring pages, but there's a few, as we can see just there. So let's try a different one. Let's try black and white. So let's go black and white. Let's click enter and let's see what we got. Now, stay around because I'm going to share all about your own personal feed as well and following people. Now I've typed in black and white. Let's see what's popped up. Now right here we can see not very many colouring pages as we can see. So let's go back up to the top. In fact, let's just go back to colouring page. I think I spelt that wrong, so let's do that. There we go. Now from here, if you actually find some creations that you like, you can always follow the creator. So let's try and find one of these that I have not followed. I think this one. So let's click this, open in a new tab. Just, just give that a second. There we go. Now on here, we can look at the upscales or we can look at all. Now let's say that I really liked this designer who's creating all of these and I want to see what else that they're creating. So from here, we go to follow and that's it. Now you can actually check out your own personal feed by clicking just there. Now I have this already open in a new tab. So these are all of the people that I personally follow. It started off with just colouring pages. Now I follow people who create characters, who create digital wallpapers as well. But this is just really helpful because now all of the people that I follow is just showing up in my own personal feed. Now if we scroll down, in fact, let's go back up, let's change the upscales to all, there we go, and now I can see at a glance all of the creations that people have been creating that I personally follow. And if I really like the design, I can check out the prompt, see what keywords that they used, and then see if I can create something better. So as I said, I follow lots of different people creating lots of different things, but we can actually see all of the people that I follow that also create colouring pages. Now if we keep scrolling down, we can see all of these creations. Wow, look at that. So this is a beautiful lion, charming smile, elegant jacket, and so forth. Now that really looks good. Now if we keep scrolling we can see some more. He has some more lions and so on. So let's just keep scrolling through so we can see all of the creations by the people that I follow. So we have some alien stuff, some Spider-Man. Now it's all well and good playing around on mid-journey using Spider-Man, Disney, Pixar, things like that. But if you ever want to create and sell colouring pages using mid-journey, then I highly suggest staying away from trademarks, copyright and stuff that you obviously know belongs to someone else. So something like a Spider-Man colouring page is a no-go if you do try and plan on selling your colouring pages. So please keep that in mind as well. Now if we scroll down, there's more aliens. We have an eagle, more eagles. That actually looks really good. We can see colouring book page, figured outline, clean simple line art of an eagle. Now if I wanted to check out the rest of his creations I could just click here, go to open a new tab and then check out the rest of his creations. But again I actually just like this personal feed because now everything pops up 
from the creators that I follow. Now, I have been following people who also make digital wallpapers. So let's see if that comes up at all. I think I'm only following one or two people, but look at this. Things like this is amazing. So a watercolour floral wreath. You could probably create things like this and sell it on Etsy, Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, and places like that. With AI art, there's so many different ways that you can profit from it. Now, if you want me to create a video all about that, because I've been learning a lot over the last few weeks, then drop a comment down below letting me know. Ha, look at that. So that's a cute kawaii style panda. Doesn't quite look right, as we can see just there, but nonetheless, it does look good. Now, if we keep scrolling down, here's some of the wallpapers which I was talking about. Now, digital wallpapers are a massive, massive niche. If you go over to Creative Fabrica, you can see all of the wallpapers. But if we come here, let's actually open this in a new tab so we can take a look at the creations. Let's go to all, just so you get an idea of the type of wallpapers that you can create. As we can see, there's so many different styles. There's so many different things that you can create wallpapers around. And these sell extremely well on websites like Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, Etsy, and places like this. But take a look at some of these. Some of these are really, really nice. So wallpapers are just one of the things that you can create. And Midjourney have made it even easier to create them because you can actually create seamless patterns within Midjourney using dash dash tile. Now, that's everything that I wanted to share. I just wanted to go over the Midjourney app, show you how to follow people, and show you how to create your own personal feed here within Midjourney. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.